Hello everyone, my name is Indu Varma. I'm the artist here at Satmar Studio. Today we're going to learn to draw and paint dahlia flowers. The first thing we'll do is draw them. So here is how we do that. We start with two or three small petals in the middle and then we keep on adding more petals which are larger and the petals are pointed so we just keep adding layers and make the flowers bigger i'm going to draw three flowers uh, it's usually a good idea to have odd numbers, so either three or five would be a good number to have. So I'll make one flower which is fairly large and one flower which is medium sized and another one that is small. So here you can see my three flowers. So I have a large one here. And I have a small one here, and then I have a little bud here. And the reason I did that is because I want the attention to be on the largest flower. Now I'm going to mix some paints. So here I have some medium, I have white, I have blue, cobalt blue, Hansa yellow, and I have quinacridone red. So I want to make some white and red mixed so that I can have a nice pink color. So I'll take a little bit of the medium and I'll take some white and I already have some red here. And so here I am mixing this to make a nice pink. So that is what the palette knife is used for basically is to mix colors. The brush holds the color so that's why it's not a good idea to mix paint with the brush because it gets stuck in all the bristles and stays there but use the palette knife instead. So we can use the palette knife for painting also and here's how we would do that. So here's my flower and I can just use the tip of my palette knife, press it down and use it for painting. However, I might have better control with the brush. So I'm going to put this palette knife aside and I will use a brush instead to get better control. So here I have my brush and I'm going to use that to paint my petals and what I'll do is the nice thing about acrylic colors is you can paint over them so uh, once I have painted this pink I will paint another layer make the middle part darker and the outer side lighter and I can also leave certain areas white if I so wish so this is just to give you an idea as to how to paint your petals. So you can see I have my three flowers painted here. I have the large one and I have the middle one here and I have the little one. Now I'm going to mix some blue and yellow to make some green. So I have the medium and I'm going to bring this medium over, use some yellow here and take some blue and mix the two together to make a nice green. And I'll use this green to do the leaves 
and the stem. So whichever blue you have and whichever yellow you have, you can mix it. Or if you have a green, then you can just use the green. So here's my thin brush and I'm just going to use it to paint the leaves and the stem. And it doesn't have to be exactly even. So give it the nice shape that you wish to give. So you can see my leaves are all painted. And now what I'm gonna do for the background is I'll wet all around the flowers. The nice thing about acrylic paints is they dry very, very quickly. And so if I put water all around here with my wide brush, then I just have to put a little bit of whatever color background I want. If I want blue all around, I can put blue. Or if I want something else, I can put something else. So I'm just wetting this all with a white br wide brush and it's just water on my brush and nothing else. And as you can see, my paint is already dry. So even if my brush touches it a little bit, it is not going to take it off, but I'm gonna try to not touch it because I don't want the background color to go on the leaves, on the petals. So here I have my blue and I'm just mixing a whole lot of water with it to make it as thin as possible. And then I'm just going to touch it here and there and let it spread because my water is already there on the paper. So as you can see, it's spreading. And that's how I'm doing the background. The top part of my painting is all blue. If I wanted to put the bottom part a little bit green, I don't have to have it all blue. My green is already mixed, so I can just add water to this, make it thinner, and then I can just put it at the bottom to give the impression that we have a lot more green here around the flowers. So, I'm just using my big wide brush and actually I can make some shapes to give the impression that there are grasses or plants growing here just by moving my brush upwards. And so here we go. I just mixed a little tiny bit of red in this and it's giving a very nice effect.